Hi all, welcome to Ed Yourself. In this video, we are going to see what is an issue type screen scheme in Jira. And before watching this video, if anybody doesn't watch how to create a screen and how to create a screen scheme and how to configure them, please go back to those videos and have a look. And this is a continuation video of screens and screen schemes. Alright, now let's understand what is an issue type screen scheme in Paint and then after that we will be navigating to the Jira software and then we will be having a look directly in the software. Whenever a project gets created in Jira, there will be a default issue type screen scheme. So let me show you. Alright, now in our, pro, uh, in our Jira instance, we have a project called Supermarket, right? So we do have SP, which is a project key and Scrum issue type screen scheme. So this is going to be the issue type screen scheme for the project. And in the issue type screen scheme, we will be having the default screen scheme. It means Epic Story Task Subtask by default will be using the default screen scheme given by Jira and the bug issue type will make and use of its own individual screen scheme and in future if we create n number of issue types into the project it will be taking the default screen scheme and also in the last video we have learned that what is a screen scheme in Jira right a screen scheme will map the issue operations while creating with screen while viewing what are the fields needs to be visible so we keep the dedicated screens for the three issue operations create view and edit and just in case if still someone doesn't know what is an issue operations and how to configure a screen scheme i request you to go back to the previous video of uh, what is a screen scheme you will be getting a clear picture and also we do have the action button on the very top where we can use a different issue type screen scheme as well if we want to. Now let's quickly navigate to the Jira project. And now we are talking about a project called supermarket. So let me open that. And we are talking about the screens, right? And it will be in the project settings. So let's navigate to the screens page. It will be under issues. We can have screens now when i click on the screens directly we are seeing what is the issue type screen scheme currently being used by a project always remember there will be only one issue type screen scheme for a project and under this particular issue type screen scheme there is two different screen schemes one is default screen scheme so that any new issue type gets created in the project it will be taking the default screen scheme and for bug, we do have another individual screen scheme. Now, if we elaborate these screen schemes, we clearly have a look. Each screen scheme, the configuration is going to be while creating issue with screen, while editing the issue with screen. It means the fields that are being displayed in this particular screen will be edited. The same thing applicable for the view issue. And just in case if you're still confused, again, go back to the screen scheme video, which is the earlier video right before this video, you will get a clear picture. All right. Now we have clearly understand what we can do inside an issue type screen scheme. It's simple, right? Issue type screen scheme is a place where we can map the issue types to screen schemes. It means we clearly tell in the name itself issue type screen scheme is a place where we can map issue types with screen schemes. So that is going to be the basic understanding. Now as part of this particular video, I would like to solve one of the requirement. And the requirement is for the list of items issue type. I want to map a newly created screen scheme in the last video, which is SM colon list of items screen scheme so after i perform the activity in the second tab we will be able to see the list of items issue type here and the dedicated screen scheme let's quickly do that in the second tab let me navigate back to jira and now it is the activity that needs to be performed by the jira admin 
now we are talking about the issue type screen schemes in the global level right by clicking on the admin coggle by navigating to the issues if i scroll down a little bit under the screens we do have issue type screen scheme uh, just in case if anybody doesn't have a look at what is a screen what is the screen scheme please revise the last videos now as part of this video i would like to navigate to the issue type screen schemes now i clearly said for each and every project there will be only one issue type screen scheme now in the first step i clearly see the name of my issue type screen scheme which is being used by the supermarket project i can take the copy of the name in the global level in the second tab i can search for it so that i clearly see the issue type screen scheme name and also i can manually see with how many projects it is being linked and since it is a new instance i can see this particular issue type screen scheme is being linked with only one project if there are multiple projects what we have to do we have to take the copy and i will be taking a separate video for that so now i would like to enter into this particular issue type screen scheme and here what we can do issue type screen scheme is a place where we can map issue type with screen scheme we clearly know the name of the issue type right it is um what is that let me quickly click on create and let's have a look list of items sorry so we are going to map the list of items issue type with the newly created screen scheme in the last video which is sm colon list of issues screen scheme and how we can map an issue type with a screen scheme we do have an option called associate an issue type with a screen scheme by clicking on that we will be able to choose the issue type name list of items and we can choose the appropriate screen scheme it is for the sm project the issue type name is list of items and it is a screen scheme so the naming should always be in a way where we have to identify the right screen scheme easily now let's click on add as we can see the list of items now is using an individual screen scheme it is for the project supermarket and now when i come back to the first page into the project page if i do a page refresh the list of items issue type will now maybe somewhere it will go down and it will be having its own individual screen scheme let's do that as we can see now the list of items issue type is using its own individual screen scheme and if i elaborate that while creating while viewing and while editing we do have a single screen which is sm list of items screen and we clearly know right we have inserted five different fields onto it now as part of the earlier video we have mentioned summary description due date assignee and priority now if i come back to the jira instance and if i open this particular screen and if i have a look i clearly see there are five different fields on it summary description due date assignee and priority so we have successfully completed the requirement and now it is the time for us to test in the front end so i want to create an issue quickly in the supermarket project using the issue type list of items and as we clearly know that we have defined five fields summary description due date assignee and priority i see those five values now we clearly know while creating we have to see five values i can see it so let's test the fields while creating while viewing and while editing so while editing all the five fields needs to be edited while viewing all the five fields needs to be visible and while creating we have already confirmed all the five fields are displaying right so let me assign this particular issue to one of the users sil kumar and let's set the priority to highest and let's select one of the due date as 10 and let's select the description something test and now let's click on create an issue has been created and when i view the issue i can see all the five fields here i can see summary i can see description i can see assigning 
I can see due date and I can see priority. It means since we do have the same screen being used by the view issue operation, we are seeing all the five fields. Now at the same time, if I click on the summary, it is editable. If I click on description, it is editable. If I click on assignee, it can be changed to some other name. If I click on the due date, we will be able to update the due date. If I click on the priority, we can update it to any other priority, which means even while editing, we have kept the same screen, right? So that all the five fields will be edited. So this is how we can make and use of the screens in Jira. And as part of this particular video, we have learned what is an issue type screen scheme and how to configure that, how to add the issue type with a screen scheme. And I hope everybody have understand very clearly about how to make and use of the issue type screen scheme in Jira. If you find the video helpful, please share the video with your friends and also please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get many more good videos about Jira. I see you all in the upcoming video. Thank you.